May 2000, Cape Cod, Massachusetts. And it was hot and humid and damp and sticky. And there was prediction of lightning, thunder. A warning siren means lightning is close. Get off the course. I just said to the other guys, somebody make this putt and we'll get right out of here. Most of us were leaving the green except for Mike. I had the pin in my hand and everybody turned, walk away. I put the pin in the hole, turned the walk, leaving the green about 10, 15 feet behind the guys. And then the loudest bang that I ever heard in my life happened behind me. It's like a, a searing, but very, very loud noise. I knew something bad had happened. Michael has suffered a direct hit. 30% of his body is burned. His legs were scorched. His face looked normal. His arms were a little scorched. And he was smoking. Literally. The strike is not fatal, thanks to three strokes of luck. Part of the current travels from his head and shoulders, down his right arm, and through the putter to the ground. By acting as a conductor, the metal putter deflects some of the electricity away from Michael's body into the green. Without the putter, he might be dead. The second stroke of luck? Warm weather. Michael is sweating. Sweat is salty water, full of charged particles that conduct electricity. Some of the current is diverted around Michael, not through him. Yet some enters his body. Current seeks the path of least resistance. The more water, the better. One of the body's least resistant organ systems is also one of the most vulnerable. The current shoots down the spinal cord and shorts out Michael's autonomic nervous system. His lungs shut down, his heart stops. Four minutes without oxygen and he'll have permanent brain damage. Immediately, Dick Gill and Bill Todd start CPR. It's the key to Michael's survival and the third stroke of luck. He got better slowly. One week he could shrug his shoulders and he could move these two fingers. And so he progressively went right down his spinal cord as if the motor neurons that were knocked out came alive and they just ch 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 marked itself down the spinal cord. So. The last thing that really kicked in was his legs. That was like a five-month process. In total, Michael has almost a year of intensive rehabilitation. A life seldom changes so much in just a flash. Oh, I was type A. I was a stockbroker. I jumped off of cliffs and we tree skied and scuba dive. I didn't sit and watch. I was 48. And I went from 48 to 78, just like that. So instant age. <laughs>